Hello everybody, welcome to Experience Jesus with AVJ, Apostle Victor James. And bless God, I'm um, on set on this episode with my beloved son and partner in the faith. My son, Pastor Victor James. Amen. Nice to be here, everybody. <laughs> now remember, the Bible said in 1 John in chapter 1, he said our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son. And in John chapter 4, Jesus said God is a spirit, which means that God is six for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory be emphasis to God. on spirit. Perfect. Glory be to God. <laughs> and then after the death, the burial and resurrection of Jesus from the dead, Paul came speaking by the Holy Ghost. And Paul said very clearly, he said we in Philippians chapter 3 verse 3 are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit and put no confidence at all in the flesh. Which simply means that we are the fulfillment of the Father's desire for um, spirit worshippers. Glory be to God. Amen. Now real quick, before we hit the ground running, um, let's quickly make uh, a couple of announcements. First of all, if you haven't gotten my book, um, I'm going to encourage you to do that. You know, At the end of the broadcast, you will see a WhatsApp number you can send message to, to get the book. How Jesus did it. Praise God. And then the second one, it's uh, <clears throat> YouTube. You got to go to my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, we have loads of teachings. So just type Apostle Victor James. And then you will see we have loads of teachings. Teachings that will be a blessing both to you and to your loved ones. Yeah. You know? And most importantly, I would like for you to press the subscription button. Very important. You know? Just press it. And look, this thing is free, man. And... Uh, to the glory of God, I believe that it will give you help you to find direction. There are different titles, you know, teachings, topics that will help you, you know. Uh, all right, let's hit the ground running. Yeah. Uh, myself and my son, Pastor Victor James, we started on the last episode on um, a very important uh, discussion. We took a couple of them, so. We are, we are hoping that by the Spirit of God, by the help of the Holy Ghost, we'll be able to get into the other part of it, you know, the second part, and finish. Yeah. You know, first of all, we, we looked at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 23 and 24. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 and 24. Glory be to God. The Bible says, But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. Mm. Knowing that they do gender strife. strife. Mm. Then verse, 20, uh, uh, verse 27 says, I mean verse 24. 24. Next verse says, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, mm. but be gentle unto all men, mm. apt to teach and patient. Mm. Go back to that verse 23 again. Verse 23 again says, look at it again, very important. It, it says, but foolish and unlearned questions. Mm. Is it a void? There are some questions, there are some teachings, there are some things that believers should not get themselves involved in. Involved in. Yes, because all those kind of questions or teaching does, is just the, ben the, the benefit they have in them is just to generate argument. argument. Unprofitable argument. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said they should be avoided. Avoided, yes. So regardless of who is teaching or preaching any controversy or controversial message or topic, the Bible says we should avoid them. Avoid them. You know, this thing that just made me remember um, a scripture in Proverbs. Yes. If we can have Proverbs 20 verse 3, please. Proverbs 20 verse 3. Glory be to Concerning God. Concerning the gospel, I believe this, 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 this scripture applies to that as well. Yes. Is it? Yeah. If thou... No, 20 verse 3, not 2 verse 3. Mm, 20, chapter Proverbs, 20. Proverbs 20 verse 3. 20 verse 3. This is, this is powerful. Just to help against the necessary <laughs> arguments and, you know. Yes. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife. Yeah. In, to cease from to strife. To cease from strife. Yes. In G, in G, I like the translation in, in G, GNT. GNT translation. Put GNT translation, please. The GNT translation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is, very, this is very important. GNT translation. You know? GNT translation says, 
Okay, honor, so very... honor, honor comes is, is not something that we go to look for. Just simply staying away from strife when it concerns this gospel. Yes. It's, it's, it's an automatic it's an honor. honor. God sees it as honor on your own path. Yes. Woo! Glory be to God. Understand? Glory be to God. Okay, we're not able to get it on James. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, it's here. So, any fool can start arguments. Wow. See, the honorable thing is to stay out of them. Oh my God. Jesus. So the honorable thing. Oh my God! Because, I like this. because it, it, well, while it cannot be um, stopped from um, kicking off, you know, but you can avoid it. You can stay out of it. You can choose to do away with it when you see that it's generally uh, strife that is, uh, benefits nobody. Yeah, you know, it, 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 do away with it. It's, it's a, wow. it's, it brings um, honor. Wow, you, you know, there's no reason, there's no need to start arguing whether heaven is real or not. Yes, sir. Whether hell is real or not. Mm, mm -hmm. According to the Bible, the Bible said we preach the wholesome truth. The wholesome truth. Wholesome truth. Mm. Not partial truth. Mm. Not some truth. Mm. But the wholesome, wholesome truth. truth. The complete. The complete truth. Mm. And that wholesome truth, Paul said to Timothy, is that if Jesus talked about it, yes, we should talk about should it. talk about it. So that somebody is preaching that there is no hell. Mm. Don't even go near the argument. Mm. Don't even don't even go near it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so so I, I just want to check this in. Yeah. How can you believe in someone who, 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 who you say came to die for you? You know, to give you eternal life. Yes. And then uh, you pick and choose the parts you oh, want from geez, what he says. Jesus. It's, it's, you can as well just choose the part where he says, uh, if you, if you want to be saved or any man to come into the kingdom of God, you have to believe in the one that God has sent. Yes. How don't you choose and pick from that? There you go. So we, you're right. The wholesome truth, the complete truth. The complete truth that, is yes. what Christianity is all about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not partial truth. Yes, sir. I don't know if we can get that script. It's somewhere in Timothy. You know, wholesome. You know, you can uh, search out the word wholesome. You know, and we'll see because I really, really need to show everybody. Christianity is not a partial truth; mm. it's a wholesome truth. So you can't pick and choose. You, you can't pick what you like. First the Timothy one, six three. Sorry, sorry. First Timothy six three. Mm -hmm. You can't pick the one you like and then drop the one you don't like because it tickles you mm. or it tickles your fancy, makes you feel good, mm. or the other one is offensive to you. No. Because it's appeasing for that. Attack. Yes. Yes. You're right, yes. Right. First Timothy six three, he said, "If any man teach otherwise, mm. let me use this thing. If any man teach otherwise, the Bible said, and consent not to wholesome Wholesome's words, words. truth, Wholesome. words. Which words? Even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, Woo. and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Mm. So anybody." Mm. Who does not consent, mm. believe in, mm. receive, mm. accept to preach mm. or talk about the whole words mm. of Christ? That means if Jesus talked about it, we must talk about it. And also, it means that during Paul's time, yes, there were men and there were people like that doing the same thing, yes, picking and choosing. Exactly. Oh my God. There were people like that. So, so it's, the, it's not even new. So no, it's, it's not. New. It's not. Mm. So the devil is trying to distract the body of Christ. Mm. He's trying to distract Christianity mm. with frivolit uh, frivolities, mm. Mm. with lies, lies, with unprofitable mm. words. Mm. Look at what Paul said to Timothy in, in, in Titus chapter 3 verse 9. The book of Titus chapter 3 nine, verse 9. Titus 3 9. Titus 3 9. Look at it. He says, but avoid foolish questions. Avoid them. Uh, you know, uh, the Garden of Eden is a myth. Mm. It's a myth. Adam is a myth. Mm. Uh, the serpent is a myth. Uh, the, the, the tree of the, the, the tree <laughs> of the garden is a myth. All those trash. Mm. It doesn't add anything to you. Nothing. As a matter of fact, it does not help you to live an overcoming life Ooh. in this present world. Ooh, whoa. It doesn't. I don't. I don't understand. I don't whoa. understand. Whoa. You know why, why? Why you want to get yourself into? The, you know, somebody told me one time. Somebody sent me a message. He said, AVG, Apostle Victor James' teachings, they are not deep, deep, deep. I said, well, at least learn this one that is not deep first. <laughs> so I asked, I said, what is the deep teaching that I'm supposed to make? Uh, he said, look, 
the, uh, the tree of the garden of Eden is a myth. Uh, the serpent is a myth. You know, serpent, don't talk. I just looked at him, I laughed. I said, what you don't know is oh that God. when God created everything in the Garden of Eden, yeah. creation could talk. Mm. Could, creation could talk. Ooh. It was the fall of man that hindered the, the, the ability of all of creation to speak. That's why the Bible said God subjected it in hope. Mm. Mm. In Romans chapter 8. Yes. You know, so he said, avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strives about the law. About Old Testament, forget them. He said, for, for they are unprofitable and vain. Don't get into any argument with anybody. Don't do that. Move on. No matter who's trying to start argument with you on uh, all these uh, unprofitable avoid things. Them. Yes. Avoid them. It doesn't add anything to the edifying of your faith. Nothing. You know, coming to know Christ. And how does he help the you faith? Personally, even those who are trying to. I find that it even uh, discourages even of some unbelievers. You know, what are you doing? God, you don't you don't need all of that. You don't need that. You know, and then some people will be arguing about Jesus is God. Jesus is not God. Ooh. It is insane to to to, <laughs> to 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 go into any of that argument. I think it's just anybody. plain uh, uh, ignorance. Ignorance. Yeah. And not having the understanding. Yes. Of what they are talking about. That's so true. Simple as that. That's true. As as that. Jesus Christ, I've said several times mm. Mm. that, quote and unquote, Jesus is not a savior. Okay. He is a savior by assignment. Mm. Okay. Mm. He told the Jews, he told the Jews in, in the book of Matthew, I think in chapter 10, he said, the Son of Man came to seek and to, to save. save. That's his, his assignment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But in existence, Jesus is God. Lord. He told John in Island of Patmos, he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. The word Alpha means there is nothing before him. Yes, sir. Omega means there is nothing after him. <laughs> and that's him talking in the first person. I may get not that he's using somebody, he's talking no. to somebody else. No. Ooh. And John gave that, this account. John gave that account. Wow. Wow. He consented to what Jesus said. Yeah. And there was no angel in heaven that could drive Jesus out of heaven. At all. For saying he's the first and the last. At all. Hmm. Nobody could drive him. For saying he's the Alpha and the Omega. The ah, and the end. Ah, Ooh. Ooh. And then in Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. ESV translation. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. Look at what it Colossians says. Colossians 2, 2. Yes. ESV translation. This is Paul describing who Jesus is. Hmm. Get out of that argument. We don't need the argument. They are not profitable. At all. They have, at no, all. They have no use. At all. They have no use. Look at the Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. Paul said that their heart may be encouraged, encouraged. being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of the assurance. full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ. So that God Almighty that has been a mystery for years, thousands, millions of years, that God decided to unveil himself, decided to reveal himself. Hmm. And the Bible said he revealed himself as Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, in essence, Christ is the revealing of God. Oh, my God. From ages past, from eternal past, my God, for the first time he decided to reveal himself. And this scripture plainly put it in his eyes. Glory be to God. God revealed in Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> God, I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. God revealed, revealed in, in Christ. Christ. Wow. So you cannot know God beyond Christ. Beyond Christ. No way. Neither can no you way. know God in the absence, in the absence of, Christ. of Christ. No way. So the people the person Muslims call God is not God. It's not God. It's not the God. person Hindus call God is not, not God. God. Away from Christ is not good. Away from Christ is not good. And the God we are always made has always been trying to approach, to have to um, trying to have relationship with, trying to meet up, trying to you know have a sort of a family um, a, a tie with. He chose to reveal himself as as Christ. Wow. Then you now not want to now do away with yes, that, that Christ. The way, the, the way he revealed himself. Why he has chosen that you should address him? Yes. Why he has chosen that you should come to him? Yes. How does that work? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I 
that does not work. That's a that's a good common sense. How does it work? A man mm. is like a man and say, look, this is how I want to be known. Yes, sir. Yes, and then sir. you need his help. Mm. You mm. want him. Mm. You want to uh, have a relationship with him. Yes, sir. Now you now say, no, you don't want to know him the way he the wants, way to, he be wants to be known. Then how does it work? He wouldn't even answer. I'm talking about if you just the, the natural physical man. Yes. Addressing him by a way that he refuses for you to <laughs> address him or, or which will be offensive to him. He wouldn't even answer. In I know people John, that way. In First John chapter 5, oh, verse 20. John because a lot of pastors, a lot of ministers, a lot of bishops don't even know who Jesus is. Mm, mm. They can't explain scripturally who Jesus is. Mm. So they go into all kinds of arguments back and forth. Back and, forth. and they want to describe who God is by what Moses said. Mm, okay, okay. They want to describe who God is by what Job said. Mm. God give it, God take it. Take it. You know, Moses saw the back of God. Mm. They, they want to describe God by what Elijah said. Mm. Those men, those, they are good men, all of them. Yes, yes. All the characters of the Bible, yes. they are good men. They are. But they do not know who God is. Mm, 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 mm. Jesus said in John chapter 1, he said, no man has seen God before. Ooh. And Jesus cannot lie. And at that time, it's a statement that directly challenges what Moses said. Egwe. Which is why the Pharisees and they were, they were, you know, this guy, <laughs> what, what is this guy on about? <laughs> I mean, Jesus was bold, man. Moses said he saw God. Mm. But Jesus said, no man, no man has ever seen God before. So for the first time, I'm, I'm sure their minds will have been rattled. What, 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 what is going on here? Wow. Wow. You see, who Moses saw was not God. Mm. The Bible told us, or made us to know in Acts chapter 7, that the person Moses saw was an angel. An angel. On the mountain that was sent by God to him. Ooh. So the angel, like an ambassador, took on, you know, a glory. Glory, yes. You know, to explain, to stand in the gap mm. between God and Moses. Mm. So Moses never dealt with God directly. Mm. <laughs> So Jesus now came and told his disciples, he said, nobody has seen God before. Nobody has seen nobody. God before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like the Pharisees at that time. Yes. It amazes me that even after 2021 years, now, yes. it's not just 2000 years. Yeah, it's 2021. You know, we still have bishops and pastors who are as amazed as people as back then. You know, this script, the script, that scripture in the, uh, 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 Acts uh, 7, they yes. are still amazed. Even when, you know, we show it to them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let, let's tell you. Let's tell you. Jesus is God Almighty, I'm Ooh. telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, he, he said, no man, no one has seen God before, mm -hmm. except the son that the was son. in the bosom of the father. The father. He said, and who, whoever he reveals him to, mm -hmm. that means whatever Jesus says, However, Jesus describes mm, yes. God to be, to be is exactly what God is. Yes. Yes. Because nobody has seen God before. Nobody That's why before. you can't find the drawing of God anywhere. Mm, mm, mm. So, the one who authoritatively said, mm. he, not that he saw God, he said he was in the bosom. The bosom with God. Woo! Balayaba. Dwells in infinity. Elsewhere. And the Bible that means that you yeah. can't differentiate between God and Jesus, and Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Indivisible being. Mm. So Jesus, look at what John now said. He said, this is John giving testimony of what Jesus told them. He said, and we know mm. that the Son of God has, is mm. come and has given to us an understanding. Mm. So before Jesus came, yes, there was under, misunderstanding mm. about God. Wow, wow, wow. And what is wow. the understanding about? That we may know him, God, that is the true God. True God. Jesus came to give them understanding of who is the true God. So who is this tr true God? Wow. He said, Jesus said, John said, and we are in him, that is the true God. Mm. Even in his son, Jesus Christ, this, this Jesus Christ Woo! is the true God, true God and eternal life as well. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus gave the disciples on the clear understanding. He said, let me tell you, let me secretly tell you guys. Jesus was telling them, you know, look, let me tell you guys, that almighty God that is invisible, 
and everybody is trying to reach but don't know what it looks like yeah. how it looks like his character cannot be defined yes. people cannot trust him yeah. because today he may be happy with you tomorrow he may be angry yeah. he said i am that god Ooh. jesus gave them an understanding and said he is that god that's why when they asked him that lord show us the father oh <laughs> NMA he said you mean i've been with you since oh my god. and you are still asking me to show you the father oh my god <laughs> many people don't know that scripture so. <laughs> they asked you to show them the father oh my god look that you are a believer in jesus christ your life is secured Mm, mm, you have mm. God 24-7. Wow. Amen. Jesus Amen. is the guarantee that God is with you. Amen. Bam. No Amen. apology. And that's the truth. Don't argue that's with the anybody. Truth. That's the truth. Anywhere there is going to be argument, just stand up and walk out of the place. Mm. Jesus is the guarantee. Jesus the guarantee. Yes. That God, that is, God with is with you. That God is with you. When he was born, he said he, he, they call his name Emmanuel. God, God with us. With us. Mm. <laughs> Emmanuel, God with us. Thank wow. you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, what we are trying Thank to Jesus. do on this discourse is to eliminate mm. foolish arguments. Yes. yes. Bring yes. light, understanding, understanding yes. to the body of Christ. Body, yes. That's what we're trying to do. Mm. Mm. So that your faith can rest in the Lord Jesus yes. and not in men. Mm. Mm. When the discussion and the message and the teaching and you know whatever we 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 are, we are doing is centered around Him, around on Jesus Christ, like He said, He said, "Come to Me, and yeah. I will give you peace and rest." When you see that that peace is taken of uh, yeah. away, yeah. that's when you see the strife coming in. Strife, all kinds of strife. And God is not the author of confusion. Wow. Yeah. You know? Wow. Simple. Jesus, God Almighty. Jesus, God Almighty. You know, they brought mm. this guy. This guy has brought their friend that was paralyzed one time to Jesus. They opened the roof where Jesus was talking to people. Mm. As they let down the man, Jesus looked at him. He said, Son, your sins are forgiven you. Woo. Sir, <laughs> and this is before he went to the cross. This is before he went to the cross. And it's only God that has the power. Only ability. God that has the power. And the power to forgive anybody's sin. Wow. Wow. So he wasn't even talking because he had died for anybody. Ooh. He has not done anything, anything. for anybody. Woo. He looked at that young man and said, Your sins, okay. I declare, your sins are forgiven you. Me. The Bible said the people got angry. Oh my God. Who is this guy? Who are you to say somebody's sin is forgiven? He said, If you don't know, you don't know. You don't know who is with you. You see, you see, it acts like that. Eh? <laughs> Stops like that yes. in bits and pieces. He's yeah. trying to tell them. He knows that yes. he's they are dead, but he's trying to communicate to them that oh. look, I'm, I'm God. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one that I'm He that that, that is I am. No, oh. I'm trying to reveal myself. He told them. He said that before Abraham I was. Yes. Abraham saw my days. Yes. Yes. You know, these are bits and pieces where he's yes. trying to communicate to them. He's that. giving clues. Oh, God. Bits and pieces. Oh, my God. But they couldn't put it together. They couldn't put it together. Anyway, it's because they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Mm, that's true, sir. That's true. That's true. That's true. So Jesus said, what I say or do now, you may not know. He said, but later you know. Don't worry. Yes, yes, sir. When the yes, spirit sir. of truth is come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said he will reveal yes, these things to you. You know, you know, you know, sorry, sir. You know, yeah. we have men and we have women, you know. I hear in certain discussions. I know this one, they don't just understand. You see, things like... Um, God said, Jesus said, I came not to be served. Mm. I came not to be served, but I do the will of my father. Mm. So they're trying to say that, oh, so he's referring to someone greater than himself. Yeah, uh -huh. Do you get it? You know, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, I, you know, I've heard that thing you said before. Yes, sir. That he said, I came not, to, the son of man came not to be not served, to be served. Yes, but sir. to serve. Yes, so I came to do the will of my father. That means there's somebody greater, greater than him. Than him. Yes. So because yes, the person is greater than him, Jesus cannot be God. Yes, sir. You see, yes, sir. what Jesus was talking about is very clear. Mm, mm. You know? He came as a man mm. for the purpose of saving humanity. humanity. So he himself became a man mm. in mm. Hebrews chapter 2. Okay. The Bible said he took on, he became, mm. he became likewise himself, flesh became and, flesh and blood. And blood. Mm. Yes, sir. He became like human being because God cannot die for human being. Mm. Man has to die for human, human being. being. Mm. That's why in the Old Testament, as they were giving animals yes, to, you know, 
to die as their for their for the forgiveness of their sin. Yes, the Bible said the blood of the animal could only cover their sins for one year. One year. It couldn't take away sin. Yes, yes, because yes, man sin, man must die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So oh. God had to take on the form of man. of man. This is Almighty God who took on the form of man. And it seems like that's how God programmed things. Why I said that's how God programmed this is I, I say this because even when you look at nature, mm. it takes a seed of an orange to grow that orange. Bam! Correct. You know, it takes a seed of an elephant to be go, to give birth to an elephant. Yes. So God just follow that natural order. It's a natural process. Right from time. Yes. That yeah, is what the earth is all about. Very natural very process. Very so when Jesus said he came to serve, mm. he mean he took on the form of man. Mm. For the service of humanity, Woo! redemption Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. to serve God's purpose for redemption for mankind. Amen. 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 Ooh. You know, Jesus said one time, Yes, sir. He said, It is expedient that I go away. It is very important that I go back. Yes, yes, sir. Mm. And then in the next verse, he said, Because the Father is greater than I. Ooh. He said, Therefore, I must go back. Mm. The reason, you know, some, some people took that one now in John and said, oh, Jesus said he must go back because the Father is greater than him. No. Yeah. You see, you have to, because everything Jesus said, mm -hmm. Jesus said, my words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. So you must depend on the spirit of the word yeah. to yeah. give you the communication of what Jesus is saying. The part, that's, and that's the part where people push. Yes. Don't, don't dwell on. That's yes. the spirit part. Yes. To help them understand. That's where they miss. That, and that's where, that's why the world, so to them, the Bible is just like a literature book. Mm. Mm. So we depend on the spirit part yes, yes, to sir. see the truth. Jesus is communicating, or God is communicating through the word. Mm. All right. Mm. So Jesus said he has to go because if he doesn't go, the Father is greater than him. Okay. What Jesus was saying is that, look, as long as he's still in this human physical body, okay. he is restricted to one place at a time. Yes, yes. But when he goes back, mm. he will go back glorified in mm. that his state. In that state. The in that state. The original yes. state. Yes. Who he is. Mm. Mm. Then, him and the father mm. can be everywhere at the same time. At the same time. Mm. You're right. Because even, even he himself, there's, there's where he's, I think it's in John, he said, I proceeded forth from God. Out from God. He was not God. created. He was not created. Jesus oh. is not a created being. Mm, mm, mm. He proceeded. It is God that came out from God. Mm. That's why David, in the realm of the spirit, yes, sir. Yes, when sir. he saw him, yes, sir. he said, my Lord said unto my Lord. Mm. He saw him in the spirit realm. So David acknowledged that my Lord is talking to my Lord. My, Lord. my God is talking to my God. Mm. Mm. David saw it in the spirit. Okay. So for the sake of the assignment, yes, that's why he. The, that's why he became my his. Lord took on the flesh. Uh, go oh there, there. Uh, the uh, 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 oh my God! So, anytime they call him the son of David mm. in Israel, they will, Jesus will look at them. Yes. He said, "These people are ignorant. <laughs> they are calling me the son of David. Do I look like the son of David to you? <laughs> he is the son of David by identification, identification. for the sake of salvation. Mm. Otherwise." He will not have right to the earth. Mm, mm, mm. That's true, that's true. He has to have human lineage, human lineage to have right to the earth. Yes. And then having right to the earth as man, he is qualified to be a savior mm. if he keeps the whole law. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. And he did. And he did. And he so did. please, like I said, the reason why we are sharing this thing is for you to avoid arguments. Arguments. Unprofitable, unprofitable you know, argument. fights, profitable uh, quarrels, you know, to avoid them. Avoid them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's take another one, you know, because we looked uh, that day, uh, we looked at um, should a woman cover her hair, you know, the other episode, yes. and then can a woman be a pastor? A pastor yes. We looked at that, yes. and then we talked about the gifts of the gift and the calling the of God, of God yeah. you know, and then we talked about. Um, elders, respecting elders, respecting elders, you know, because a lot of people don't understand that that is part of Christianity. Now. Yes, yes, you yes. know, we must respect elders, you know. So, um, what I, I would like us to look at right now is, uh, uh, let me see. 
so that we, we don't we, 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 we can have enough time to deal with this thing is maybe um, not despising the body okay, okay. let's let's take that okay. not despising the body okay you know, a lot of people do not know a lot of uh, christians ministers do not understand you know that a fellow christian yes, sir. is a member of the body of christ once they say somebody is a Christian, what it means is that he has become the body of Christ. Mm. You know, I think the first thing we should, we should look at is why did God have to make us the body of Christ? Mm. You know, why, why? Why did God have to make us the body, body of, Christ? of Christ? Yes. Okay. Mm. Because we know that Jesus has a body yes, when he resurrected. When he, resurrected yes. he didn't resurrect with, you know, without a body. He resurrected a body. Mm -hmm. So why did God have to make us the body of Christ? You see, when people understand that, then they will understand the meaning of the body of Christ. Body of Christ. Okay, sir. All right, sir. All right. So let's start with that. In, I think, Psalm 23, verse, verses 1. Okay, Psalm uh, 23. Is it, is it 1? I can't remember what verse now. Just go to uh, Psalm 23. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's start from 1. Then we can see. No, no, down. not Psalm 23. Sorry. Not, not Psalm 23. Uh, there's a scripture. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. I think it's 103. Yes, 103. Psalm 103, yes. Yes. Verse, verse, verse 2. From two, but 2 down, yes. Okay. If it's not 103, okay. then. Go, go to 3. Uh. Let's do it quickly, please. No, no, there, there's another one okay. again. <laughs> there's another one. Uh, if you if you if you look at it, it's, it talks about his bones. Oh, okay. His bones. If you can just check bones in somewhere in the book of Psalm, I want to bring out something from it for you to see why God had to make us the body, the covering of Christ. Yeah. We are the body, the one that covers. My body is covering me. My body is my cover. So God, the reason God made us the, the covering for Christ. Okay. Psalm you know? 22. Psalm 22, yeah. 22, I think verse 3 or so. Uh, no, let's verse 17. All right. Okay. Psalm 22, 17. Let's look at it quickly, please. You know? Yeah, that's it. You're right. Yes. Um, which translation did the... Did, 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 uh, GNT. GNT translation. So that I can, okay. you know, can help us to make... It is it? All right, mm. this is it. I want you to see this. Please wow. check this out. Mm. I want you to see why God had to make you and I, mm. born again Christians, the body, the body of Christ. Christ. Mm. Are you seeing that? Wow. Because a lot of people don't know why we are the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, but yes, a lot of people know we are, the, we are called the body of Christ. But why? But why? Uh, yes. Look at this. He said, mm. David is prophesying. I mean, he saw in the spirit. In the spirit. Yes, David saw in the spirit. He saw ahead. He saw, ahead. Yes, he saw what happened. To Jesus Christ, and, and this is about uh, six, seven hundred years before yes, it actually happened. Before it actually happened, yes, sir, yes. you know. So David said, "This is, you know, David talking about the Spirit of God talking about Jesus to David." Mm -hmm. He said, "All my bones can be seen, mm -hmm. oh. and my enemies look at me and stare." And stare. So, when Jesus mm -hmm. actually was beaten. Mm -hmm. You see, that Jesus' image that is showed to us in Passion of the Christ movie mm, mm. is not accurate. Not accurate. Mm, it's not, not accurate. accurate. Yes. They tried. they tried. They did a good job, but it's not accurate. When Jesus was battered and beaten mm. and wounded mm. and they took him, hung him on the cross, yes, sir. after they finished with Jesus, yes, sir. his body was so mad so battered, mm. so beaten, so destroyed, that they could see his bones. Mm -hmm. They could see Jesus' skeleton. Oh my God. Oh my his God. body was pieces. Wow. It, it's not just that they beat him and he had one stripe like this. Mm. They beat him and you can see one mark like that. No, no, no. His flesh tore they, like it, tissue. They tore his flesh like tissue. Ooh. Exactly. Oh my God. You know, his flesh was pieces. Oh God. Okay. So pieces that his bones could be seen. His bones began, began to appear. Started appearing. So Isaiah said they could not even 
remember whether it was a man or a woman. And that's Isaiah's account. Too. Isaiah's account yes. as well. What Isaiah saw in the spirit. Mm. So you see, when Jesus, when they finished beating Jesus, wow. he had nobody. Nobody, nobody for his bones. Wow. His bone was pieces. His bone had been. Ooh, I mean, his flesh was pieces. Flesh, pieces. His, because God prophesied through David yes, that none of his bones shall be broken. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. yes. But as for his body, his body, he was so beaten mm. that his flesh fell like tissue paper. Wow. Wow. Jesus' physical body fell like tissue paper. Mm. You know, when people saw him, they were throwing up. Mm. They were vomiting. Oh, I can't, I can't look at this. Oh, I can't look. Isaiah said there was no comeliness about him anymore. As a matter of fact, he lost the visage of a man. That means Jesus was not looking like a man. The, when people saw him, they don't know whether he's a man or a woman that they beat. Because his, his flesh has gone from his body. Look, don't trivialize what Jesus did for you, manna. Don't even go near there. It, 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 the idea of the body of Christ is a very serious thing. It's a very he he lost he lost that his own body, his own physical body. He lost it so that God can give him another body. And the Bible calls it a glorified body. A glorified body. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure that's why, sir, in, in, in the movies they make, I'm sure the word, as we're talking about, the word coming to my mind now about what happened to, to him mm. is in capital letters, gruesome. Ooh. And it, it's too gruesome even for directors to even put together. <sighs> they might know about it, but they can't put it together. It's too gruesome. You know, I read a, a part of the um, the Roman the, the, um, history, how they punish um, capital um, criminals. Yeah. You know, the part as I said that uh, you can't tell whether it's a man or a woman. Yeah. You know, did you know that they they also cut off um, a men's the, the the breast part. They cut it off. Huh. The, the private part. They cut it off. So that means by the time they were finished with him, you could not even tell whether it was a man or a woman. Sure. Wow. When David saw him in the spirit, he said, "The spirit of God was telling David, he said, can't you see his bones?'" Because there is no flesh left. His bones. He said, and they are looking at him and they are staring. His enemies. So when Jesus resurrected, the father decided, since your body is so marred like this, and then it's gone from you, mm. I'm going to give you a new body. New body. Mm. So the body the father gave the Lord Jesus now, yes, sir. Is you and I. You and I. Eternal, it, a, a, a eternal um, replacement. Amana <laughs> Gadaba. Eternal body. Eternal you know, house. There's a word in Yoruba language. It's a in your show me. In your me. Mm. That means human being are my clothes, my covering. Oh. Humans are my oh. covering. Not this, uh, not this oh. fabric. Humans oh. are my covering. God decided God. that you and I will become the body of Christ. The body of Christ. So in the realm of the spirit, the, 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 the sons of God have covered Ooh. the one who came to give himself to, to God to have so more hey, so It's just like um, what happened to Joseph and his dream. Yes. You know, the brothers, all the brothers surrounded him in that his dream. All the brothers surrounded him and all faced um, uh, Joseph in that dream. Aye. So now, after that, he has lost his body and his bones are now bare. God now still did that typographical thing again. Oh. All, the, all his eternal brothers surrounded and Jesus and become his house. His Vele doga the temple of which he now sure was. Sure word. Oh my God. That's sure word. Thank you, Jesus. In First Corinthians chapter 12, the Bible says, in verse 27. First Corinthians, first Corinthians, first Corinthians 12, 12 27. 27. And uh, put NIV translation. Let's look at NIV translation. I gotta look for this thing that is falling here. 
<laughs> First Corinthians chapter 12. 12, 27. Yeah. It says, now you are the body of Christ. Okay, and okay. I have Okay, NIV. Okay, okay, all yeah. right, all right. And, and every, now you are the body of Christ. Woo! You are you the are body. The body of Christ. So as soon as you believe in him and you come into God's family, <laughs> God, God has another part of the body. Yes. So the body of Christ yeah, the is body of Christ. from and the and day he got born again. From the day he, from the day he resurrected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God started fixing his from body. From the very first person that uh, got born again. Yes. God started, God started fixing, fixing the body. Fixing, started fixing. He started said, fixing. and each of you each each one of you of is a part of it. So he's, he started fixing. He started fixing. That's why Jesus said, "Please go and preach the gospel. Go and preach the gospel because yes, sir, yes, sir. I need body. I need yes, body." He started fixing. God started fixing. And that means, sir, <laughs> that means God will not fix body forever. Yes. There's a last piece. There's a last piece. There's a last. Piece. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> when when the that last, last piece, uh, part <laughs> is fixed. The father will send the son. Oh my God. Go and bring them Go home. Bring them home. <laughs> Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I wish time is not oh, running like God. this. Now that we're having fun. I'm telling you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, in verse 20, look at that. Let's take from verse. That was seven. Go on to 28. Watch this home. Watch it. He said, and in the church, God has appointed, first of all, apostles, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I hope I'm right. Uh, do, 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 no, no. Let's Ooh. go to. Let me wear my this thing. And then, oh. and then chapter eleven. So chapter eleven. Excited. Sorry, chapter eleven, verse twenty-seven to thirty. So excited. Okay, First Corinthians eleven, verse yes. twenty-seven. Yes. NIV. NIV. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, right. He says, oh, right. "Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord." In an unworthy manner, will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Next verse, watch you. Verse twenty-eight. Verse twenty-eight. Thank you, Jesus. He says, "A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup." Verse twenty-nine. Hey, watch where I'm going. Twenty-nine says. Anyone who eats and drinks mm. without recognizing the body. He uh, uh. didn't say anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the drink. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said anyone who eats, eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord. That person is eating and drinking judgment on himself. What he's saying is this. Anybody who says, okay, I want to take communion. I want to take the emblem, mm -hmm. the bread mm -hmm. and the wine. Mm -hmm. Anybody that approaches that thing without actually having understanding yes, sir. that, look, before you eat it, yes, sir. you should understand that the next person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is a Christian yes, sir. is the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are violating Jesus' body. So God wants, before anybody takes communion, you must understand that both you and every other Christians are in good terms. In good terms. You know, sir, I just remembered um, something now. You know, we have certain believers or certain people who, when they come into a uh, uh, misunderstanding with their pastor, yes. then they say, oh, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. leaving. I'm going to another place. Yes, go to See, another place. They don't place. understand that. They don't know that the that same is, body of the Christ. The same body and the same spirit. Yeah. So they go over there after um, um, uh, causing the problem where they're supposed to be, yes. where they were serving, yes. where the Lord wants them to serve, where He has placed them. Yes. And then go and take communion there. Yes. That's why we see that now, people become. Now, now watch. Uh, you must. What Jesus is saying, what the, what the Bible is saying is that we must keep honoring Christians. Mm. Body of Christ. I always remember that they are part of that. Feature. They are part, part of, of. They are part of the covering. Covering, yes. Of Jesus' nakedness. Mm, mm, mm. And anybody that is just like somebody, a mosquito that wants to bite. Yes. You, what will he do? Yes. We kill it. That's true. That's what look, that's what the Bible said. You have said the right thing. Yes. Look at verse 30. That's what he said. Mm. It's true. Nobody should argue what you just said. He said, That is why many among you are weak Ooh. and sick. And sick. 
and a number of you have fallen as the David and died because they keep antagonizing and doing wrong to a fellow believer member of the body of Christ mm. so that person that is not recognizing that this person is a member of the body of Christ yes, sir. and yes, is sir. doing bad to this body of Christ yes, that's why he's always sick mm. Mm. if he doesn't take time after a while he, the devil will kill him he will die because that part of the body yes, is no more receiving from the Lord Jesus Christ yes, sir. So he does not have the ability to continue. continue. So you see that a lot of Christians are struggling. Mm. They are struggling to make it. Mm. Struggling to survive. Mm. They are praying and binding the enemy. But you look as if the thing is not being bound. Mm. He said you must not bring down one another. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. must not do evil to one another. Yes, sir. Don't disgrace one another. Yes, sir. Don't try to ruin the other person. Mm. He said because if you do it and you are taking communion. Yes sir. Is it what you are doing? You are bringing judgment on yourself. <laughs> it's not God that is bringing the judgment. It's, to. it's the person that is going to take judgment <laughs> and dragging on themselves. Oh That's why God. a lot of Christians are dying before their time. Mm. That's why so many people are sick. Mm. Constantly sick. I didn't say it, so I have no apology for it. It's the, that's the scripture. So that means he so said, many Christians are coming against the Lord indirectly. Yes, because this is what covers him. This is his body. So God wants us to be very careful about how we deal with each other. Stop talking behind about Christians, a fellow Christian. Stop running down a fellow Christian. Can you imagine a man of God telling Talking about a fellow Christian that is a blatant failure. He, this man has no idea what he's joking with. <laughs> he has, he's going into a territory he, he cannot survive. He has no clue. You see, that time in First Corinthians 11, the Bible says when they come to church and they want to take communion, because this one doesn't have money, this one have money. He will buy his own bread and drink. And then he will just sit down with his own family and eat, 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 and drink. And then sometimes he drinks so much, he becomes drunk. And then this one that doesn't have money, he's just looking and wondering, eh? because I don't have money to buy uh, this thing for me to do uh, uh, my own communion or to do love feast, you know, blah, blah, blah. Paul now wrote to them. He said, don't you know what you are doing? Mm. This other guy that don't have money to eat mm, mm, mm. is a member of the body of Christ. He's a member. He's a member. Ignoring him and you are eating. You are drawing judgment for yourself. Because you are trying to afflict a body, a part of the body of Christ. People need to know God is not so much interested in your prayers than the way you deal with a fellow Christian. That's why you, must, you have to have compassion towards another Christian. As a matter of fact, the Bible says you should not talk yourself, each other to court mm. before a judge, an unbeliever, yes. to come and judge Christ, oh. to judge the body, a member of the body of Christ. You, you see? Wow. Sir, as we are talking now, you know, when he, when he appeared to Paul on the way, and he told Paul, he said, don't, don't you know that you are afflicted? Mm -hmm. Woo! As Paul, as as him and Saul at that time, going after and killing Christians. Yes. So that means. He said, "Why do you persecute, why do you persecute me? me?" That means the same thing is going to be asked of everyone born again yes. believer that treated a oh my God. part of that body. Oh my God! In one way or the other, that is not pleasant at all. He says, "Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me?" Paul said, "Who are you, Lord? I didn't know you. Not God of coming to persecute you." Mm. He said, I am Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Hmm. So the killing... And Paul was an unbeliever. And, yes, and he was an unbeliever, yes. And he's, Jesus is talking to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is persecuting, persecuting him. him. Because every Christian Paul dealt with is a part of the body of Christ. Okay. So that part of his body is wounded again. Mm -hmm. He went to him. He said, why are you doing this to me now? Look, let me tell you. Are you doing this to me? Be careful how you deal with a fellow Christian. Yes. You may yes. not know the person is a Christian, mm -hmm. but the minute the person says to you, I'm a born again child of God, exactly. change your attitude towards the person. Exactly. Exactly. Treat the person with utmost respect exactly. and honor. 
Exactly. Whether the person abuses you or not, don't worry about it. Let, let Jesus deal with the person himself. Hmm. Be very careful how you deal. Stop running your mouth against born again Christians. Because you think it's that person you're running your mouth against. Sir, you're actually running it against Jesus' yes, body. You know what you said about that, that minister that said uh, the, the, to that part of the Lord's body that they are blatant failures? Mm. You know? That means he's calling that part of the Lord's body a failure. failure. And it's all because he doesn't understand this it scripture doesn't, doesn't understand. showed you. So it's possible for a man to be a general of a seal of a big establishment, but he doesn't know simple scriptures as, as this. Wow. And some some cases they know it, but they just give it them. I don't know. I, I think primarily they don't know. I want to make an excuse for them. Okay. That primarily they don't know. So ignorance is the key. Yes. Oh, okay. Because look, <laughs> oh Shabara and Nagota. It's just that time has gone. We need to pieces this thing and, and really you know help people to gain understanding. understanding. You know, that's why the Bible said the only words that should come out of your mouth to a fellow Christian mm -hmm. are grace filled words gracious words yes gracious words mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. edifying words mm -hmm. because you are going to give account to jesus mm -hmm. for how you treated mm -hmm. you dealt with another member of the body of christ mm -hmm. so the bible said if a member of the body of christ mm -hmm. has fallen mm -hmm. he said you who is this spiritual and you are standing help him he said help him to stand up help him he said i should do it in the spirit of gentleness gentleness Otherwise, you will be dealt with yourself. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Because he is, no matter how you look at him, he is still part of the people of the, covering of the, Jesus. Of that covering that I've Oh my God. I have. Around now. Oh my God. Be his body. Without him, Jesus is naked in one particular area. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's why throughout time, if you, if you check, everybody who has tried to tamper with the body, it dealt with them. Whether kings or priests, it or dealt with them. Uh, uh, kingdoms, go and check, it's gone, they wiped out. It dealt with them. It deals with them. Woo! Oh my God. Oh my God. It's his body. Mm, mm. It's his body. We are members, are members of, the of the body of Christ. And it's so, it's so much. Arosa, that even, even you period. who are believers. If you are not careful yourself, yes. the Bible says you will either become sick yes. or some sleep. Yes. That's death. They die. Wow. He said they become weak. Wow. That's why he said that some Christians are always weak, weakness always weak. and sickness. Mm. Because you, your mouth tu, 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 mm. against a fellow believer. Mm. You know, trying to backstab Christian. Mm. Mm. You have forgotten that that's a member of the body of Christ. Mm. They're going to backstab him. Talk to people ab about oh, him. So that, oh. that one is using allowing the devil to walk through him. Yes. And in that that Christian, yeah. that part of the body, the Lord begins to feel ache. Yes. Ache. 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 Yes. So he has to take care of So, so Paul ache. said mm. he has taken judgment on himself. Mm. 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 That person has taken judgment on him. Oh, it's not God. Jesus does not put judgment on anybody course, or God. Course, or, course, because he's a member of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But he goes to take judgment on himself. Mm -hmm. He said, then before you know he's weak. Mm -hmm. He starts struggling with all kinds of th things. Mm -hmm. You know? The weakness means that life begins to come against him. Against him. You know? And then before you know it, because of the pressure and the stress of life, he becomes sick. Oh. Always sick. Always treating sickness. Always treating diseases. Always sick. And then before you know it, that sick, the that same sick, the that thing will not kill him. Because the Lord has spoken a word and conferred on the body protection. Yeah. There's an there's a heavily heavily um, protection on that body. Yeah. So bringing yourself against that part of the body, you're just inviting the devil and death to Bam. do what 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 you will do. Bam. Wow. Please avoid arguments. Mm. Just stay with the truth. Mm. Stay with the truth. Yes, sir. And Jesus says he will make you free. Mm. The truth makes free. The Bible, Paul said, nobody can do anything against the truth. Mm -hmm. But for the truth. But for the truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I wish you had enough t uh, more time. Yes, sir. You know, I've so enjoyed my time with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming on this episode Thank again. You, sir. you know, and we trust God that everybody has been blessed. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, you yes. maybe you should pray for everybody before we leave. 
you know father in the name of jesus, the name of jesus. thank you for um, our meeting yes because it's not just we've actually gone beyond the physical yes so in the realm of the spirit we are Man, all together da, 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 da. we are also be, we are also learned to live thank Man, you for da, da, da. teaching us that we have we have become the members of the body of christ yes. that as soon as you came into his kingdom yes we turned around and became his clothes yes thank you lord jesus for giving us thank that privilege you. thank you to cover the lord's the, the, the lord yes and for becoming his, his eternal body amen i ask all oh lord that you um, protect everyone in the name of jesus especially as they are believers and their friends in the name of jesus in jesus, jesus in their homes yes. and whatever they are amen that you protect them you provide for them amen. you keep them safe you in guide jesus them amen. in the name of jesus thank you Father, for mental amen. healing amen. for emotional healing amen physical healing amen. for economical healing amen thank you lord jesus for even wisdom amen james said that it, it is it, it's a good thing for you to ask for wisdom yes if any lack wisdom let uh, ask of the lord yes. so in the name of jesus whatever you have asked for from wisdom or whatever it is we ask that the lord graciously yes provides for you in jesus name. meet you at your point of need in the name of jesus, in the name of jesus. Amen. and may he show you peace rest and love Hallelujah. in the way that no mortal person thank can you, show jesus. you in the name of jesus christ amen 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 now you know we will not go without asking you in this our fellowship to give so let me ask you to give use your phone to do a transfer and help us financially yes. to push this gospel you know so that we can push ignorance out of the body of christ you know help us you know to be on television we did ask that I, we need 300 people mm. to give us ten thousand naira each yes. so as for us to pay for some things mm -hmm. Please help us. 300 people 300, 300. to give us just 10,000 naira mm, each. Mm, mm. I want to thank all of you that have been part of it. Yes. yes. So many people. I'm so I'm encouraged. Mm. You know, we're so encouraged that people from all over the world have been sending. Been responding, yes. Yes, you know. Mm. Thank you so very much. Thank you so we very want much. to acknowledge that. Thank but you. if you have not been a part of it, if you have not done, mm. please do in mm. Jesus' name. Mm. And we trust the Lord Jesus that financially the Lord will help you Amen. and bless Amen. you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. So if you want to send us offering, tithe, seed faith, or you want to be part of these 300 people to give us right. 10,000, right. please just use Zenith Bank, 1001-488-167. And if you are outside of Nigeria, in America, Canada, in London, in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, mm. Australia, China, mm. or you are in Dubai, or Qatar, Singapore, Singapore, China, wherever you whatever. are, South Africa, mm. Ghana, Kenya, you can use Guaranteed Trust Bank. Guaranteed Trust Bank 001-686-4145. And the SWIFT code is GTB I N G L A. And you can send us a WhatsApp message mm -hmm. on two plus two three four eight zero three zero seven one eight zero zero six. Thank you so much for being a part of this episode. And on behalf of myself and my son, Pastor Victor James, Amen. together we are yeah. signing out. God bless, God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>